Hey guys, welcome back to our Keep Related video. Today, we're gonna look at the Apple PC 75B, specifically the year of the Tiger Edition. We're gonna unbox it, review it, as well as mod it. This is Apple's new budget line 75% keyboard that competes with the likes of the Real Key Skull Bro and the Pecker IK75. But is it worth it though? Let's find out. First, I need to preface this by disclaiming that Apple did send this keyboard out for review, but this will not affect my opinions on it. Ako did not get early access on this review and Ako is watching this review at the same time as you do. But with that out of the way, let's start with the video. Ako is once again targeting the beginner keyboard space by releasing an affordable yet complete keyboard with the Ako PC75B. My review unit is the Year of the Tiger Edition with the red case, Pre-Loop CS Wine red switches, and JDA Height Year of the Tiger Team keycaps, a celebratory piece made to highlight the Lunar New Year. You could also get this in white and black with matching ASA keycaps in the near future as I have told. The box also includes a color match USB cable, a keycap puller, and a 2.4GHz dongle as well as the manual. Just like its bigger brother, the Mod 007, the PC75B follows the design trend of 2021 with the exploded 75% layout. It all starts with a knob on the top right followed by the separated arrow keys, function keys, and navigation keys, as well as the three one new keys on the bottom row. It isn't a bad layout, I just wish they did something more unique this time as this layout has been everywhere nowadays. But anyways, layout preferences aside, the board is made out of light but durable polycarbonate that lets a little bit of light through. The red really stands out from the rest of my board, as well as the spray painted knob. The sides are clean and the bottom is planked with a two-stage rubber feet and the toggle switch on the bottom right. This allows you to go from wired to wireless just by switching it either on Mac mode or Windows mode. The rear houses the weirdly placed Type-C port. It's slightly off in the middle, which bothers me as coiled cables are placed too much on the right if you're gonna use one. The PCB is 3 to 5 pin hot swap with TTC sockets. It also has perky RGB and underglow which people would like, but it's still not facing. Other budget competitors such as the Lite G66 and the MW65 offer south pacing on a budget. I just wish Ako had made this south pacing for it to stand out of the crowd. If you don't know the problems of south facing versus north facing, I urge you to check out my video on paper mod. Otherwise, the PCB seems to work fine in wired mode, but struggles a little bit in wireless modes. Just like what Torbud said in his review, these boards have disconnection issues when you use the 2.4GHz dongle. I too have experienced this, but only when the dongle is on the back of my computer. Otherwise, when I plug it in the rear I.O. of my case, the disconnection issues stop. The same holds true with Bluetooth. If you're buying this for its connectivity and portability, beware that its range is short. Going to the software, just like the Mod 007 and other products, the PC75B can be remapped through their software. All the lighting modes and macros are in there for you to tinker with. It's no BIA, but it gets the job done. The plate used in this board is polycarbonate, and though it's not a gasket mount board, with loop CS wine reds, I feel a bit of softness to the typing feel. Gone are the pings and resonance of an alu plate, and overall I like the typing feel of the board. As I've said earlier, the board is not a gasket mount, rather it's a top mount, which in essence mounts the plate assembly on the top of the case. This however, as per ako, is a leveled top mount. To open the board up, you just need to unclip the top frame, no screws required. This is just like how the Calbro and Gamma KT68 were opened. Opening it up shows a hefty amount of silicone under the PCB, presumably to mute the sound and reduce the hollowness of the case. On top is the PCB with the plate mounted. Sandwiched in between the plate and PCB is a layer of plate foam. 
as well as a silicon switch pad which kinda acts like the PE foam for this board. As I've said in the intro, these keycaps are specially made for the Lunar New Year, and accordingly, it's tiger themed, with the modifiers resembling a piece of art with a tiger on the spacebar. The alphas are dyed orange with red letters. We could also see some thought and consideration on the design with the arrow and navigation keys. The keycaps are thick and are dye sublimated. They are in the JDA profile height and is comparable to their own ASA keycaps. Other colors on this board will have the white and blue and gray on black colorway and will also come in the white and black respectively. I was blown away by how nice the switches are. This comes pre-lubed out of the box and doesn't exhibit spring nor scratch. If you're eyeing on a pre-built with a good set of switches, I'd suggest checking this out. Combined with a mute silicon and plate foam, the board was able to give up a muted sound profile. Though not my preference, I know some of you like that sound profile. Later on, I'll share a typing test stock versus tape modded for you to know how it sounds. And as for the battery, with constant use and RGP on, I wasn't able to deplete it in 2.4GHz mode. It's not like the 8000mA of the Calbro, but 3000mA is plenty enough for a whole week's worth of typing, especially if you turn up the RGP. Another great thing about this keyboard is that its tabs are pre-looped out of the box, and as you heard from my previous video, there were no rattle or ticking of any kind on this board. Again, if you just want a good enough pre-built, and you don't want to mod it even further, I highly suggest this as one of your boards to consider. As for the sound and typing feel, the board is quite silent out of the box because of the silicon inside. Though not my preference, I could see someone would like the sound profile. Here's a sound test of the board with and without tape mod for you to be able to hear the difference. In conclusion, though not a standout of the crowd, Aqua has provided a nice keyboard package for the price. As it stands, for 6,000 pesos, you could get yourself a nice budget custom keyboard that with a little bit of research can outperform this board in the sound department. My Tom 680 build way back was 5,500 pesos and I chipped out on the keycaps back then. I see the PC75B as a keyboard that can stand on its own without any further mods. A lot of people in this hobby have the time to tinker, build and modify a board to their liking. But for those who don't have that time, but just wants a good keyboard out of the box, then I recommend this keyboard for you. If you're looking for a budget, try mode 75% with pre loops tabs and switches. As for the rest of us, we could still consider this board if we're keen on getting the ASA set and switches, as they cost less if you buy them with the keyboard. So what are your thoughts on this keyboard? Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe to see more contents like this. Once again, I'm John J. Benweba and I'll see you in the next video.